It snowed last night in Chattanooga. Like, what is going on here? And imagine how beautiful that's going to look with a white paint. It's going to hurt once. My brother always tells me that. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Nico's Property Show. It is the next day. This is part two of knocking out Hardy Siding, and it is freezing this morning. Literally, like everybody's hands in like five minutes of being outside is frozen. It snowed last night in Chattanooga. Like, what is going on here? But that's typical, so it'll be about 65 degrees probably tomorrow, and today it's like 21 degrees in the morning. So that's just what we're having to deal with. The guys are like, look, it doesn't matter. We're here, we wanna work, and we're gonna get this job done. So I'm like, all right, let's do it. So we've got all the material still left over from the previous video. They're gonna knock this out. They've done all the sides of the house, three sides of the house, okay? So they got that front gable area, and then that right side of the house where the dumpster's been, if you've been paying attention to the videos. And I think they're gonna get finished today. If not, they might have a few finishing touches for the next day that they can come out. Um, but other than that, I think this is gonna be in and out. Like they, they, I think they brought even more guys this morning. So I'm excited, I'm happy to see what they're gonna be doing here. Um, I can't wait to see this entire house really pulled together with that Hardy. And once it's painted, it's gonna be phenomenal. So let me stop talking, let me get them working and get all this process filmed. Alrighty y'all, so they're basically all set up. They got all their tools, got everything running, uh, the air compressors, the, the, the lines and everything to it, their guns. Um, so I'm just gonna show you again. So the process repeats itself um, on the front of the house. So they're putting that flashing underneath right there because I will have stone going up underneath there. This is one of the sides that receives stone. So they're putting that flashing on right now. There will be another flashing, which is the Z flashing that will go above that trim board at the bottom. Um, and just to show you actually, in case you haven't seen the other video, that board's right there, that's the Z flashing. And then this side will have this flashing underneath because right here we're just gonna do stucco. So the back of the house is getting stucco. And if you forgot what it turned out to be, this is what it's gonna look like. So this is part two, getting the side of the house and the front of the house completed, really tying it in. The guys are doing an awesome job. We think they'll be done today. Well, they think they'll be done today. And um, all the material is ready to go. It is a cold morning, but it's not gonna stop them. I can already tell. So I'm just gonna keep filming and get this whole process. Alrighty y'all, so we're at a pretty good point right now where everything is progressing. I went and bought the guys coffees. It is freezing out here. However, look at this. Looks absolutely beautiful. The side of this house is coming together. I love seeing the bat strips right there. I mean, check that out right there. Golly bum. And then they put those trim pieces along the edges as well. Um, and it just, it works out. And we actually needed more material, so I ran off with my man Pablo right there. And we went to 84 Lumber to grab a few more bat strips and a one by 10 to help with this top trim area right here and i'm gonna get straight back to work here well i'm gonna get back to filming that's my work so why don't we get them working
So I wanted to jump on the back porch, get out of their way and tell you what else was going on. So during all this time, I actually submitted for a framing inspection and we actually came back with one, two, three, four, five things that needed to be fixed, um, which is really great. So the, the inspector came out here and in order to actually do my installation, I'll have to pass this framing inspection. So the guys actually showed up at the same time that they're doing Hardy and installation should be getting started soon. This Hardy's getting done. And I'll just tell you a couple things. Um, the inspector just wrote down, so the, the plywood in the garage wall needs to be covered and stuff like that um, we need to support all the valleys so there's a few different little areas that need to be fixed nothing major i had all the wood on site anyway um so they're using it right now i'll show you them knocking some of those things out but yeah this is just something you deal with if you fail figure it out keep it moving and just make it happen Alright y'all, so we have a little calm before the storm happens again. The guys wanted to run off, go home for lunch, um, hang out with their family for a little bit, then come back. And hopefully they think they're going to finish the job. So I wanted to show you what was happening right now. So we've got this front wall done here, and I'll actually climb up this ladder for you so you can see. And I'll try to be a little safe and show you what happened here. So they got this done. A little bit left here, and then they're going to run those bat strips going vertical. And if you look off to the side right here, oh, that's why the LVL was left over. It's actually a good little scaffold piece um, as you look over here this is all done and I'll tell you what I did here in the front actually to help myself so because of how tall from the bottom to the top this was um, the one by six or the one by eight at the bottom and then the panel and then a one by eight at the top wasn't gonna work what we actually decided was to use a one by ten up there so that it covered the seams or the joint where that panel was actually ending at and I kind of really like it because it kind of gives it this like big view up front with this big gable that's gonna be beautiful so I'm really happy with how this is turning out literally like I'm so excited but let me show you the side 
side of the house as well. I mean, this is turning out phenomenal. Got my fire crackling right here, popping on me. And it is cold. I told y'all it snowed yesterday. I was like, what in the world? Why is it snowing? But the side of the house is done as well. Um, this is beautiful and I can't wait to see when they put these bat strips up. I mean, that is gonna be phenomenal. Like, goodness gracious. Back of the house is done. The rest of the other three sides is done. And uh, we're just gonna keep, or they're gonna keep progressing. I'm gonna keep filming and I can't wait to see this thing finally done and painted. So let me run off, go grab some lunch and then I'll see you back after that. Alrighty y'all, so the day this video is actually being shot is a Saturday and the guys were like, hey, it's payday, we actually wanna take off if you don't mind. I was like, dude, get out of here, it's Saturday. I don't care if you work or not. So they're gonna come back on a Monday and actually finish the rest of this job. I do wanna show you an update of the point that they got to because the house is looking phenomenal. It's getting tied in, it looks so darn good and I'm so happy with the progress. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a quick tour about like what happened um, and just show you what the finishing touches were before they get here and actually finish the entire house. So let me grab my GoPro and show you around. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna start here on the side of the house. You can see this turned out really well. I've got that one window right there for my office to kind of break that up. And of course, I got this garage and I actually um, thought about this after they got done. I started looking at it and I was like, you know what, I'll actually like a one by six right there. And they kept telling me, are you sure you don't want a one by six? It looks really good on top of that garage door right there. And I was like, no, just do it regular um, with a one by four. And they're like, okay, we'll do whatever you want. Well, guess what? I'm actually gonna have to make them put a one by six here. They actually already chalked the lines where they're gonna knock out some of that batten strip and then add that one by six piece right there which will give it just a little more character a little more pop and then as we walk around to the front side of this house this looks so freaking good and they actually got it finished all the way through there in that top little area when we were on the roof this is gonna be stone right here so they left this empty obviously um however we still got that you know that soffit that fascia and everything like that so that's gonna look really really good I'm excited for this um to see that stone going up um you know complemented by this hardy in this area with the black accented windows that's gonna look phenomenal even you know that white flashing like that just gives a nice little pop and that's gonna look good because we're gonna have stone going all the way around here we're gonna have that hardy coming up in here we're gonna add another little beam where that two by four is that was just there for support and then that hardy coming around here will be phenomenal let me give you another view on this side of the house and check this out so they already did finish this one little area however um they're gonna do another two little panels right there um like I said, it's Saturday. They want to head to the house, go have fun. Um, they kept saying it was payday. So I was like, go to the house. Come on now. So they're going to put the batten strips right there. And then I'll give you one last walk to the back before I end out this video. And they actually arrive back on the job site. This is like the calm after the storm storm. They've just been going crazy here. But check this out, y'all. Absolutely beautiful. I'm excited, really happy with it. You know, couldn't couldn't be couldn't be more happy. Um, and what's gonna happen is they're gonna get here on Monday and they're gonna knock this sucker out. And I can't wait for that. So uh, thank you for watching to this point. I'll see you on Monday.
Buenos dias, everybody. Good morning to you. We have progress. Okay, so this is part two, obviously, and this is the next day when the guys left on Saturday. Um, so this is the next day they came out to work, and they are knocking out that front part of the house right now. We'll actually walk in that direction. I want to show you all what's actually happening here. Um, I've been most excited for this part because... You've been looking at the beams, you've been looking at the house. You see the side of the house done, the back of the house done, all the windows, everything like that. But look, just let's just like take a moment of silence and just look at these front beams and imagine how beautiful that's gonna look with a white paint, with everything coming together, with everything just being one. The house becoming a home, walking through that front door with all the right colors, with the stain on those beams, with the, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the door yet. I have to decide still, but check this out. Look, they got the trim going around the black windows right there. We got the flashing on top. They're working on the side. I'd say they'd be out of here in half a day. I mean, these guys are freaking flying. There's one, two, three, four, five, I think six guys here today. On the weekend, they brought a bunch of more people with them. But y'all, we are progressing, we are moving, they are flying around, they're getting these bat strips up, and I wanna take you around to the side of the house too, so let me head over there. All right, y'all, so I'm here at the back of the house and I wanna show you what's going on here. They just got this entire wall covered with the panels, so now they'll be able to add the batten strips. And if you look right here, if I didn't give you a good enough explanation earlier, this is just a one by two by 12 foot long. So um, essentially, you're just putting, it just depends, like whatever sizes you want. When you're doing the batten strips, of course, they are the one by two ones, but with like trim work and everything around windows, or at the top of your, like wherever the top of the house is right there or at the bottom, it's all up to you what you want. You can do one by six, one by eight, one by tens. I mean, it's literally your choice. It's your house if you're the builder. Um, but as you see, they'll be putting the batten strips right here. My man's kind of freezing. They've been working in t-shirts in this weather, which I don't understand. They're literally crazy. Um, very crazy but um, i'm bundled up i got gloves on and they're just flying around maybe that's why they're flying around and they're staying warm i guess let's go to the back of the house again real quick while i have my cameraman here i want to show you how excited i am about this and give you a little more detail about what's going to go up in here so i have what's called tng and that's tongue and groove it's this beautiful wood that's going to actually they're like little panels um i think they're one by four or one by six i can't remember they're in the garage and i'll show you as well they'll be lined up in there and they'll be going horizontally as you look right here the way i'm showing it they're gonna get stained i had my painters come out as i told y'all in part one i mean once this back porch is really tied in together i'm gonna have a back deck extend out here i'm gonna have a jacuzzi on this thing or not a jacuzzi a hot tub i keep saying jacuzzi um but this is gonna be a vibe because the sun sets in this direction so i'll be in my backyard hanging out enjoying it and then i'll take you actually over here a little bit further and tell you that we have things happening that are really gonna keep the progress going. Okay, so insulation's coming up. And what happens after insulation? Drywall or sheetrock, depends on whatever you call it. I've already got those guys coming out. We're gonna get some proposals and everything, but insulation's coming soon, actually. So you'll be seeing that in a very next um, upcoming video. Let's head over to the side here and just kind of give you a little explanation um, of what this is going to entail and then what i've got in the garage i want to show you all that tng so again really happy with how this wall turned out that one window right here really broke up this wall if it was all board and bat just hardy siding i would have been like ah because now i can actually get a view out the side of my house however let's go in the garage and i am super excited because while posting this video, we hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is crazy. I just wanna say thank you to every single one of y'all, 10,000 subscribers. I think it's been like four months since I started this channel, or five, I'm not even sure. And to hit 10,000 subscribers is unreal. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. But why don't y'all keep walking with me? We're gonna go in this garage right here and I'll show y'all what that TNG looks like. Mr. Cameraman, do watch your head and just don't hit yourself with that ladder. But this right here is the boards that I was talking about. So it's nice and smooth. Um, it looks really, really good. And once it's stained, I'm gonna have like a nice light brown color for this. So you can only imagine once they stain it, once they dry it out, I mean, just look at that. Very smooth wood, I love it. Um, it's gonna be beautiful, I'm so excited. Sometimes it's worth putting these nice accent pieces where you're like, should I save two, three, four, five hundred bucks or 750? Just spend the money. You're gonna spend it once. It's gonna hurt once. My brother always tells me that. It's gonna hurt once and then you're gonna enjoy looking at it all the time. So um, why don't we back out of here? Mr. Cameron, watch your head as you duck backwards um, because there is a ladder right there. We're gonna give you one last view right here and then we're gonna get some dope shots of them working. So they're killing it. I love it. Check it out.
<risa> ¡Qué bueno! <risa> All right, y'all, so they actually got the right side of the front of the house done right in front of the gable and most of the right side of the house. So I'm gonna turn the camera around here and give you a view. This is coming together so well. They'll be moving in on this middle area right underneath that front gable. That looks amazing. Check out how the side of the house looks here. Oh my gosh, they are moving right along. I'm so happy with the progress here. I'm gonna keep getting this thing moving. They are knocking it out. I am very, very, very excited to see how this is all gonna come together here on top of this front door. One more view for y'all, cause oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, just imagine, look at that front door. It's gonna be beautiful. My man Pablo right there killing it. Oh yeah, professionals, professionals. But let me get them working. Check, check, action. Alrighty y'all, so it is the next morning. The guys are out of here. The entire area is clean. Give them a little, little pan shot here. Show them how clean it is. They do a great job cleaning up after they're out of here. So two vans out of here, 78 ladders out of here, and like 12 people out of here. And guess what? The house is done. There's a few little minor touch-ups that need to happen, um, which I'll tell you real quickly about. And so if you kind of come up to this front door right here, and I wanted to give you all a tour of the final product. I know this is part two of the video. We've seen a lot of hardy siding getting done, you know, how to put siding on a house. Like, they finally put it on. That's where we're at. We're at that point. So I'm actually going to put a thicker one by eight above the top of the door there. And I had to make a correction on the garage as well, but it kind of just gives it like this big pop factor i guess you could say it just kind of brings this area with the beams and the front of the house because that's going to be the focal point when you're pulling up it's going to be like boom and that's what you want to see so i want to take you to the garage area kind of show you what i messed up on they kept on telling me listen if you want it we'll do whatever you want 
but we think you should put a one by six over the garage. And I'm like, no, keep it, keep it this. I want a one by four, I want a one by four. After they got done, I literally made them replace it. So then they had to get back up there, cut all the bat strips off the top. So now I have a one by six that I think looks really, really good. Um, it actually makes it just kind of have another focal point over here as well. So not only does the front porch with the front gable and the front door have a nice focal point, now the garage has a nice focal point and it's not all the same. Okay, so we're on this corner of the house where that guest bedroom is or both guest bedrooms and the guest bathroom. Um, so this is what it turned out to be. I think it looks phenomenal. Once this area is painted, this can be really nice because I'm actually going to hopefully build something on the outside here to be able to hang out at nights or during the summer, whatever it may be. So I really love how this looks with that, even with that little window and that bump out right there where that bathtub is. So this is actually a bathtub inside of the house. So I'll be in the bath right there or my guests will be because I have my own standalone tub in my master bathroom. So anyways, let's head to the back of the house. So I wanted to jump on the back porch before I went to the other side of the house and show you what was going on here. So I'm really excited to finally be up here. I'm finally excited that they were able to wrap this around as well, but there's actually one thing missing. What is that? It's gonna be a nice beam, just like I have in the front of my house on the front porch. It's gonna be a nice fur beam right here holding up all of this area right here, but it's gonna look so beautiful once it's stained. And then we'll have that tongue and groove all through here as well, as well as on the front porch gable. So that's gonna look phenomenal. It's gonna really tie in everything with the paint and then that wood stain, it's just gonna be phenomenal. But let's head on over there so I can show you the other side of the house. All right, so again, they've got this entire back cleaned up. We actually had a little bit leftover material, um, not too much, but you'd rather have too much than too little because then you have to run to the supply store and get stuff all the time. So we had a little bit extra, which I will be able to return, um, but check this out. I mean, with these black windows, with that black trim around them, and then this is gonna be painted white. This looks absolutely beautiful. I'm extremely happy with this. Can't wait to finally be hanging out on that back deck, watching the sunsets, maybe in a hot tub. You know, I keep saying that, so I gotta make it happen. But anyways, why don't I just show you the side of this house real quick, and then we'll be right at the front of the garage. So again, this one window breaks up this whole wall for me, gives me a nice little accent piece, and I couldn't be happier. So let's head to the front of the house. Alrighty, y'all, so I wanted to jump in the house real quick and grab these set of plans. I haven't shown you the plans in a while, but I do have a rendering on here um, drawn by the architect and everything like that. So I'll jump down here real quick, make sure I don't fall. I wanna show you what this final front view elevation is supposed to look like, okay? So, I mean, if you look at everything, we've got the hardy, everything, board and bat. Then you've got the stone, which is actually right there. So if you kind of just pan over, that's actually gonna be the stone wall right in that area. It actually says stone on it with marker. So if you can envision that and then come back over and there's gonna be stone on all the foundation, the columns and everything like that. So if I take that away and I show you all this, this is all gonna be stone as well. You can only imagine, it's gonna be beautiful I can't tell you which stone it is yet. I want you to just kind of use your imagination. Comment below, let me know what you think I should use but I do have one picked out and I'm really excited to see what it's gonna look like. But regardless, I'm really happy with how all of this hardy siding turned out. Um, the guys did a phenomenal job. They're an awesome crew. They've done tons of work for us before and I couldn't be more grateful that they came out and did this. They're gonna do a few more finishing touches for me, fix a few little things, and that's gonna be the end of it until we start painting this thing. So anyways, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you like and subscribe and make sure you follow me on all social platforms, especially TikTok, because it's so easy to film, edit, and post on there. If you haven't yet, check out nicospropertyshow.com. Grab you some merch, maybe a a hoodie and use code Nico for 10% off your order. Without further ado, smile more, worry less, and stay blessed. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.